Have some questions about hardware in your new PC? In general, today's entry-level PCs feature hardware that's adequate for tasks like surfing the internet, browsing photos, and checking email. Using that as a place to begin, choosing the best hardware is as simple as deciding what, if anything, you'd like to upgrade. If you do plan to upgrade at some point, consider doing it with your initial purchase as opposed to later on. For one thing, you'll want a system you won't outgrow too quickly, and secondly, trying to buy those higher performing components separately is almost always more expensive. Let's start with the processor, or CPU. If you want to do some light photo editing and gaming, look for a system with a dual core processor. For video editing or more intensive photo editing, consider a quad core. Quad-core processors are becoming much more common, and newer software is increasingly designed to work best with this technology. For RAM, or short-term memory, we recommend at least one gigabyte, which will allow operating systems like Vista or OS X to run smoothly. If you tend to use several programs at the same time, look for at least two gigabytes of memory. And if you're planning to work with multimedia, you may even want more. Next in line is the hard drive where 80 gigabytes in a laptop or 160 in a desktop are good minimums to get you started. If you're planning to work with larger files, such as photos and video, consider 160 gigabytes for the laptop and at least 250 for the desktop. Those larger files can also be stored on an external drive, an item you can purchase later on if you find yourself needing the space. The last major decision is the display. A good standard for most users is a flat panel LCD model with a digital DVI connector. And make sure it's wide enough to give you breathing room, especially if switching back and forth between programs is something you like to do.